This is how the Byzenon headlights look at the front of the Sprinter. Parking light, driving light, cornering light, and indicator. The fog light is integrated into the bumper. So what's so special about Byzenon headlights? The high beam is produced through the headlight and not through a separate bulb. A movable visor ensures that the light is deflected. Before you begin with the setting of the headlights, some preparations must be made. Park the vehicle on an even surface. Additional weight must be removed from the back. The seats here in our case with the Sprinter minibus can remain. Then make sure the vehicle is straight and has no suspension defects. Now switch off the ignition, take out the key and restart the engine. Why? The Sprinter with Bizen on headlights has sensors as an automatic range adjustment. With the restart, it's set to even ground. Now put it in neutral gear and turn the headlights on. The engine must be running for the entire procedure. Under the driver's seat is the model plate for the tyre pressure values. Check the pressure in all tyres in accordance with the value. Also check the tyre profile for even wear. For a correct setting of the headlights, the driver's seat must be weighted with around 75 kilograms. Ask a colleague here to help. After opening the hood, position the headlight setting device parallel to the front of the vehicle. Align the black line in the upper mirror of the device to two parallel points in the engine compartment. For example, these two screws. Then move the device in front of the headlight. Bring the lens to the same height as the light. The small black arrow on the housing helps you with this adjustment. Also on the side. The distance of the device to the headlight should be about 30 centimeters. Don't forget to set the angle of the headlights too. You'll find the angle on the model plate under the driver's seat next to the tire pressure. Here it's 1.25%. The setting device assumes a light range of 10 meters. Therefore, set the device to 12.5 centimeters as the correct value. Before you start with the setting procedure, go through an examination of the automatic light range adjustment in the star diagnosis. After a short test routine, select control devices in the main menu, then body, and then light range adjustment. Press current fault codes if any faults are in the system. Return with F1 to the previous menu. After controls, click function tests of actuators. F3 to steer the headlight into the minimum position. With F4 into the maximum position. And lastly, with F6, back into the factory position. If the headlight does not do one of the three positions, then there's probably a technical defect. If this is the case, remove the headlight and examine it. In our example, everything is okay. Now you can begin with the setting of the headlights. The headlight appears in the setting device with a refraction. The lower light edge must be aligned with the broken line. The point of the angle of refraction must be exactly on the central mark. The two set screws are behind the headlight in the engine compartment. Here's a view from the driver's seat. This screw adjusts the light in the vertical direction and this in the horizontal. With the high beam, it looks like this. If the brightest point of the light cone is on the center mark, then the high beam is optimally set. To set the fog light, first adjust the setting device to the appropriate height. 
The fog light has an angle of 2%, so adjust the setting device to a value of 20 centimeters according to a light range of 10 meters. The light border appears in the mirror as a straight line. If it's congruent to the control line, then everything's okay. For the adjustment, you'll need a number 7 Allen key. The opening of the set screw is directly next to the fog light. Proceed with the other headlight in the same way. And so the bi-xenon headlights of the Sprinter are correctly set and the driver has an optimal view.